Welcome to ADHD Whiskey. If you're new to the channel, my name is Matt. Today, we're reviewing the brand new batch of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. It is batch A124. As we all know, last year Heaven Hill put an end to the side label 12 year age statement on Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, making all Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs under 12 years of age by definition not Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. And that is what we have here, my dear. It is batch A124, 119 proof, and 10 years, nine months old. Is all the whiskey in this batch 10 years, nine months? Highly doubt it. The age stated on a bottle of bourbon simply means that that is the youngest bourbon in that batch. So let's hope to goodness that the 10 year, nine month old barrel that they just sprinkled in was just to goof with us. But in order to find out whether or not this batch A124 is worth a crap, let's go ahead and pull off the cork or what some people call the cap. America. It was batch A124. Pour it in. Elijah Craig Bourbon, of course, is a product of the Heaven Hill Distillery, and the barrel proof version of Elijah Craig, like this one, is legendary for being like the best buy in bourbon. It's like the best bourbon you can buy that's not like impossible to find. It's like relatively semi available in some places. And although the prices have creeped up the last couple of years, it's still what some people and most people would consider to be a bargain barrel proof bourbon. It's a real banger, bro, a real banger. The removal of the 12 year age statement has got a lot of people up in arms, including me. But Heaven Hill tricked us into being mad at ourselves because we can't blame them. We can only blame ourselves. Several years back, Elijah Craig Small Batch removed the 12 year age statement from their regular Small Batch 94 proof product. But they didn't do it right away. They took the 12 year off the front, the big red 12, and they put it on the back of the bottle and it wasn't big and red anymore. It just said, this bourbon is aged 12 years. They took it from the front and slapped it on the back. So if you wanted to find out if your Elijah Craig Small Batch was 12 years old or not, you had to turn it around and look at the behind. And then in a very sneaky move, they just removed that 12 year entirely. And that bourbon was no longer 12 years of age. People were upset. People got mad and people were like, hey, that's not cool, bro. And Heaven Hill was like, sorry, we tried, we tried to be sneaky about it. And you caught us. You caught us big red 12 handed. Fast forward to a few years back, Heaven Hill had a six year bottled in bond. It had a green label on it and it was ultra cheap super de duper cheap. We're talking like sub 20 bucks and people loved it. But then guess what Heaven Hill did? They took it away, but they didn't take it away for long. They reintroduced the bottled and bond like a year later. And in its absence, it got a new white label and an additional year tacked on a seven year bottled and bond from Heaven Hill. But the price on that increased dramatically. We're talking like three, four fold. And once again, the people were angry. The pitchforks came out. We don't like this. We don't like this. That is what the people were chanting. So darn mad. So darn mad. So Heaven Hill doesn't have a great track record for like changing the age of their products without us throwing a hissy fit. So what did they do? Let me tell you what they did. One day in a meeting, little Cody raised his hand. Little Cody, who doesn't belong in the meeting room, but he was restocking in the refrigerator and just happened to have a good idea. The man in the fancy suit at the end of the table saw Cody raising his hand and was like, you, mullet boy, in the fridge, what do you want? And Cody said, I have a great idea on how we can make more money. And Cody was like, what we will do is introduce a single barrel program to the Elijah Craig barrel proof line. And the man at the end of the table said, no, that is what the people want. Therefore, we will not do that. And Cody was like, hear me out, hear me out. I'm not done talking. And the man at the end of the table said, I will tell you when you're done talking, but proceed. And young Cody said, listen, what we will do is introduce a single barrel line of Elijah Craig barrel proof, but they won't be 12 years old. They'll be younger. We're talking eight, nine, 10 years old. And the fancy man at the end of the table swirled his Elijah Craig 23 in his glass. Oh, and he loved it. And he said, Cody, you are a dumbass. Because Elijah Craig barrel proof isn't Elijah Craig barrel proof unless it is 12 years of age. And Cody sighed in defeat. Hmm. But then regained his confidence and sprouted up tall and said to the man at the end of the table, that is what they think. They think Elijah Craig Barrel Proof must be 12 years old, but we will tell them 
then it is not. The people want a single barrel version of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, but we will introduce those single barrels at younger ages and get the people used to having Elijah Craig Barrel Proof at eight, nine, and 10 years old. At first they will be reluctant, but then they will buy them up. They will be happy to have a single barrel Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, even though it is only eight, nine, or 10 years old. Our small batches of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, of course, will remain 12 years old in 2021 and 2022. But Cody whispered under his breath to the man at the end of the table, but they won't be very good. As we introduce the younger barrels of Elijah Craig into the single barrel program, we will simultaneously, which is a big word for me, lower the quality of our Elijah Craig small batch barrel proofs. And in the years 2021 and 2022, people will be disappointed with the product, but will be happy that the single barrels are available. And then we will slowly start reducing the number of single barrels we put out into the market. We will then remove the 12 year age statement from the batched products and start making them younger, leaving the older product, the older barrels that used to go into Elijah Craig Barrel Proof freed up for more expensive releases. We'll trickle in an older batch of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof from time to time, just to keep the fussing down. The man at the end of the table gasped. <gasps> That's a great idea, Cody. The Elijah Craig Barrel Proof line will get worse, but we'll be able to use what we used to put in Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs for our distillery releases and Heaven Hill this and special release that and charge like $7,000 for them. So thanks to Cody who got fired that day for speaking out of line and his great idea to get us accustomed to younger Elijah Craig Barrel Proof with their single barrel program, we have this, a 10 year, nine month old Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, which I guarantee will be considered old in a few years when Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs are all eight years old. And that's just my thoughts on that. Way to go, Cody, you son of a bitch. Anyway, let's go into the nose of A124. That smells good. Ooh. If Nutella were mixed with more nuts and less Tella, then this is telling me a story of how that happened. You blended some PB2 powdered peanut butter into some Nutella and stirred it up. A much brighter varietal of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof than you would typically expect, but not bad smelling. It's very sugary, like you stuck your nose into a bag of Fun Dip and just took a smell. Yep. I actually quite enjoy the nose on this, but it doesn't smell like Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, which is the bummer part. If this were in a different bottle, like I don't know, Heaven Hill Barrel Proof, then I would be like, ooh, that smells nice, but it just doesn't have the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof profile that you're expecting. But still smells pretty good. Oh, now the nuttiness is coming forward. Like even the best mother-in-law can't hide its nuttiness forever. Let's go in for a sip. Batch A124 down the hatch. First sip of whiskey for the day. First sip is nuttier than I would like. First sip is bright and nutty. Bright and nutty. Second sip. Little Tootsie Roll, little hazelnut, some brown sugars, some peanut shells, and then the oak on the finish of this is a bit bitter oak. It is relatively viscous. The finish is lingering and long lasting, but the finish is that of kind of nutty, bitter oak. Do I absolutely love this? No. Do I think it is good? Yes. Do I think it is better than most Larceny Barrel Proofs? Yeah. Honestly, for the lowest proof offering we've seen from Elijah Craig Barrel Proof in a long time, and the youngest version we've seen ever, I was expecting to be more disappointed than I am. Hopefully the B batch for like the first time ever is like more potent than the A batch, but if the B batch follows in line with what the B batch typically is, then the B batch is gonna be a B batch and it's gonna be weak sauce. It's gonna be a weak sauce B batch, B batch. You know what I mean? I would give Elijah Craig Barrel Proof batch A124 a score of uh, seven point Three, five. It is good, but like I said, it's just not Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. For the price of it, you can't bash it really. It's still a great deal, but we've been spoiled before and I will not forget it. I will not forget how good I used to have it and neither should you. And for this video, that's gonna do. Thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. 
How old do you think, or young do you think, Elijah Craig barrel proofs will go? I'm thinking that before the end of 2025, we will see an Elijah Craig barrel proof with a nine year age statement on it. Just saying, I think it's in the works, I think it's coming. I think that the older stocks are gonna be used for more expensive, more allocated products. And that's just the way the cookie crumbles. That's just the way the titty twists. Which leads me to a very good point. My name is Matt, this is ADHD Whiskey. Like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on protecting your breasts if you're being bullied. Because there's nothing more humiliating than being pinned down and having your nurples purpled. You know what I mean? These bad boys are like strengthened. It's like how Muay Thai fighters condition their shins by kicking steel poles. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Goodbye, everybody. And goodbye, 12 year old Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. We hardly knew ye, you son of a bee.